A mixed response to new restrictions to report. Some are refusing to abide by some rules set forth by officials to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Thanks so much for joining us for the nightly check in. I'm Mark Mullen. So many beaches were closed today, as well as a lot of popular parks and trails in Carlsbad. Most beaches there are state beaches, so the city can't close them, but they can close off city owned parking, which got many beachgoers packing up for home. Earlier in Encinitas, some people climbed over barricades to get to Grandview Beach. It wasn't until about 1 p.m. when lifeguards started telling surfers and swimmers get out of the water. A lot of surfers we heard from defended their actions today despite the warnings. They say being in the water forces you to social distance anyway. It would be very difficult for the community of surfers to be banned from the water because um, I think that uh, it's a lifeline for them. And without their lifeline, that could be their only outlet. Violators can be fined up to $1,000, though, or face six months jail time. Same goes for parks and hiking trails. So now to the latest numbers. There are now 242 positive cases in San Diego since February the 14th. Again, the actual number is likely much higher because not everyone is getting tested. We have also learned that the first two infants have now tested positive. And a second San Diego County resident, a person in their 70s, sadly has died from coronavirus. The County Director of Public Health says businesses will not reopen in San Diego until the number of positive cases starts to decrease. Well, for weeks, NBC7 investigates. Our team has been asking county officials about ventilators and whether local hospitals have enough in case of a major influx of patients in critical condition. The county told the I team that there are currently 300 ventilators available and hundreds more that are already in use. That is a small number available if projections from the governor and others are correct. In a statement, the county confirmed that more ventilators have been ordered. The 300 figure was as of yesterday. Tomorrow, Sharp Healthcare will kick off an effort to collect donations from the community for some much needed medical supplies. Sharp Hospitals and many of their companion hospitals throughout the county are in need of personal protective equipment, items which include masks, gloves, gowns, and sanitary wipes. Healthcare workers need all of these items to protect themselves from any exposure to the virus. We're looking to the public to, um, if they have any, it might be a school system, it might be a construction company that have these on hand, and we're welcoming those donations at four locations across the county starting tomorrow. Those four drop-off locations are the Sharp Medical Campus at 4000 Ruffin Road, Sharp Coronado Hospital, the Sharp Chula Vista Medical Center, or the Sharp Grossmont Briar Patch Campus. Grocery stores and their employees are working overtime to keep shelves stocked and with everyone typically eating at home, the demand is high. Today our crews checked out Point Loma to see how grocery store workers are working around the clock and Elisa Ibarra is part of the restocking team at Sprout. She says despite the long hours, she has received nothing but gratitude from the shoppers. She also has a tip for you. Just accept what's not there already. So when you get there and it is there, it's a wonderful surprise. Sprout says they are hiring additional seasonal workers to help with restocking and trying to keep all of those shelves full. Dry today, cooler tomorrow. Here's Dagmar with your first alert weather. We are in for a lovely day on this Wednesday. You can expect to see increasing clouds and showers. Again, this is not a horribly cold system. Mountains will experience a winter weather advisory that goes into effect, but the coast and the inland valleys should be in the low 60s still. Some sunny breaks, but increasing showers as the day progresses. Mountains, one more time, you've got the winter weather advisory going into effect at 7 p.m. today. So do expect elevations as low as about 3,500 feet tonight through tomorrow night maybe get an accumulation of snow mixed in there. And the deserts, you will enjoy about that upper 60 mark with partly to mostly cloudy skies, but less of a chance of showers. Over to the west of the mountains, 30, 50% chance for showers mixed in with some sunny breaks. It's official, the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games have been postponed now. The IOC says the Olympics and the Paralympics will go on no later than summer 2021. Several countries and sports governing bodies already had called on the International Olympic Committee to postpone the Games. Just last week, the Olympic flame arrived in Japan to begin its relay run through the region leading up to the opening ceremonies, which had been scheduled for July the 24th. The Olympic flame will now be stored in Fukushima. 
Southwest Airlines is cutting nearly half of its flights due to the coronavirus outbreak. The airline says it is canceling 1500 flights daily, which is a 40% reduction. The cuts go into effect on Friday. That is going to do it for our nightly check in. If you listen to podcasts, be sure to subscribe to Insight from our investigates team. They'll have a new episode this week related to coronavirus concerns among health care workers. I'm Mark Mullen. Have a good night.